Hello, my wonderful listener. This is a day the Lord has made. We should rejoice and be glad in it. On this note, I welcome you to Adventist World Radio Ghana, Voice, Voice of, of Hope. Hope. A-W-R, Ghana. Voice of Hope. Voice of Hope. It was many years ago in the time of the Bible that they took him up to Calvary. Oh, to Calvary. They could have let him go, but instead they chose Barabbas just to set another criminal free. Just just to set him when they crucified the ever loving can master with compassion flowing from his eyes. Well, he said to a thief who was begging him for mercy that today, today you live in paradise. Mm, and I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, like the criminal on the cross. Praise God, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. No more to suffer loss. Well, he said I live in paradise. And he's taking care of the cost. Hallelujah. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Like the criminal on the cross. Well, on the judgment day, when all the people gather around him and they wait to hear what he will declare, what he there will declare. never ever be more intense anticipation that has ever happened anywhere. Anyway. When they call my name to defend my reputation, there is only one thing I can say. I'm a wretch, I'm a worm, I'm a no good sinner, but he said I'll save you anyway. Oh, and I'm saved, I'm saved. I'm saved. like the criminal on the cross. Praise God, I'm saved. I'm saved. No more to suffer loss. Well, he said I'd live in paradise. And he's taken care of the cost. Hallelujah, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved like the criminal on the cross. Well, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved through Jesus. I am saved. Through Jesus, I am saved. Well, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. His mercy showed the way. His mercy showed the way. Well, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. No more for me to say. No more for me to say. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved in paradise today. Was many years ago in the time of the Bible that they took him up to Calvary. Up to Calvary. They could have let him go, but instead they chose Barabbas just to set another criminal free. Just just to set him when they crucified the ever loving can master with compassion flowing from his eyes. Well, he said to a thief who was begging him for mercy that today you live in paradise. Oh, and I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved like the criminal on the cross. Praise God, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. No more to suffer loss. Well, he said I'd live in paradise. And he's taken care of the cost. Hallelujah, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Like the criminal on the cross. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Like the criminal on the cross. Praise God, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. No more to suffer loss. Well, he said I'd live in paradise. And he's taken care of the cost. Hallelujah, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved like the criminal on the cross. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Like the criminal on the cross. A-W-R Ghana. Voice of hope. Voice of hope. Join us as we reflect on the lessons of life. Our next segment is Reflections. brethren to today's devotion it is my prayer that you will be inspired by the word of god let's take a passage from the good book of revelation our memory text is taken from revelation chapter 1 verse 7 revelation chapter 1 verse 7 jesus is coming with the clouds and everyone will see him Jesus is coming with the clouds and everyone will see him. 
every person who has ever lived will be present at that final gathering. Every heart that has ever beaten, every mouth that has ever spoken, on that day you will be surrounded by a sea of people, rich, poor, famous, unknown, kings, bums, brilliant, demented, all will be present and all will be looking in one direction. All will be looking at him, the son of man, wrapped in splendor, shot through with radiance. We are all looking forward to this wonderful day where we will see our Savior coming with the clouds. I hope you have been inspired by this short devotion message. Pray that we meet our Savior coming soon. This devotional message is presented to you by the Casmensa from the book Everyday Blessings, written by our brother Max Lucado. God richly bless you. You're welcome back. We continue with our programs on Daylight Magazine here at Adventist World Radio Ghana. Ghana, voice of hope. AIDS is real. AIDS is real. Oh, friend, let's help prevent it now. AIDS is real. AIDS is real. Oh, let's help to fight it out. Abstain, abstain, be faithful to your partner. Say no, say no to extra marital sex. It's real, it's real, it kills, it kills. It's, it's everyone's business. Oh, be wise, be wise, think twice, think twice. The decision is yours now. It's my business, it's your business, it's everyone's business. What do you do to keep your body healthy? I try and observe healthy habits like eating well and exercising. To know more, join us for Healthy You. Hello, dear listener. You're welcome to Healthy You. I am your host, Olivier, and I'm here to share with you a very common problem that we all go through. Backache, or low back pain, or lumbar pain. By definition, we say back pain is a pain that is felt in your lower back and may come from the spine, muscles, nerves, or other structures in that region. It may also radiate from other areas like your mid or upper back, a hernia in the groin, or a problem in the testicles or ovaries. These are common facts about backache or some considerations. If you are like most people, you have at least one backache in your life. While some pain or discomfort can happen anywhere in your back, the most common area affected is your low back. And this is because the low back supports most of your body's weight. Low back pain is the number two reason that Americans see their doctor. It is second only to colds and flu. And it's common in almost all parts of the world and with most people too. Many back-related injuries happen at work. But you can change that. And there are many things you can do to lower your chance of getting back pain. And I'll be sharing some of these with you. The third fact about back pain is that most back problems will get better on their own. The key is to know when you need to seek medical help and when self-care measures alone will allow you to get better. The fourth point is that low back pain may be acute, that is short-term, lasting less than a month, or chronic, which is long-term, continuous, or ongoing, and that can last longer than three months. While getting acute back pain more than once is common, continuous long-term pain is not. These are some of the common causes of back pain. You usually first feel back pain just after you lift a heavy object, Move suddenly, 
sit in one position for a long time or have an injury or accident. But prior to that moment in time, the structures in your back may be losing strength or integrity. Sources of low back pain may or may not be identified. And they include the following. Small fractures to the spine from osteoporosis, muscle spasm, that is very tense muscle that remain contracted, ruptured or herniated discs, poor alignment of the vertebrae, spinal stenosis, that is the narrowing of the spinal canal, strain or tears to the muscles or ligaments supporting the back, spine cavities, and other medical conditions such as fibromyalgia, which may also be a source of back pain. Low back pain from any cause usually involves spasm of the large supportive muscles alongside the spine. The muscle spasm and stiffness accompanying back pain can feel particularly uncomfortable. Persons at risk of getting back pain. If you are particular risk of getting low back pain, if one, you work in a construction or another job requiring heavy lifting, lots of bending and twisting, or whole body vibration like driving a truck or using a sand blaster. When you have a bad posture, you are pregnant, over 30 years of age, you smoke, you don't exercise or overweight, you have arthritis or osteoporosis, you have a low pain threshold and you feel stressed or depressed. All these conditions put you at risk of getting back pain. Now, back pain from organs in the pelvis or elsewhere include the following. Bladder infection can give you back pain. Kidney stone, endometriosis, ovarian cancer, ovarian cysts, and testicular torsion or twisted testicle. How to handle or manage back pain. Many people will feel better within one week after the start of back pain. After another four to six weeks, the pain the back pain will likely be completely gone. Note, however, friend, that a common misconception about back pain is that you need to rest and avoid activity for a long time. In fact, the bed is not recommended when it comes to managing back pain. These are a few tips on how to handle pain earlier on. You have been listening to a talk on the topic low back pain. Stay tuned in for a continuation next time. Contact us, please write to Adventist World Radio, Ghana, Valley View University, P.O. Box AF 595, Adenta, Accra, Ghana, West Africa. Or if you have access to the internet, send us an email through awr at vvu.edu.gh. Or better still, you can call us on 233-20-870-4532. If our lines are busy, don't give up. Just keep on trying. We are expecting your emails, your letters, and your calls. An aged man got spoke Words that sounded like a joke Soon his wife would bear a child Saying hard to reconcile So he asked, can this thing be? Can a nation spring from me? With a body gone so in a word this man was told Your life begins with God Begins with God Begins with God Your hopes and your dreams And your plans begin with God Your life begins with God Your love
mighty things the Lord would do. He would breathe them back to life. His command caused them to rise. Like the nation he would raise to the glory of his praise. Your life begins with God, your love begins with God, your hopes and your dreams and your plans. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God endure it forever. At this moment, let us listen to the word of God on moment of truth. Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. Calling for you and me. on the portals, he's waiting. Welcome to AWR, Adventist World Radio Ghana. Moment of Truth is the program. Today we're going to look at another devotional topic. We started sometime with the topic God's Stairway to Heaven. And this is the second part of the series of three. Wherever you are, I want you to bow as we seek the Lord in prayer. Thank you for this time as we bow to hear your words. We pray that your presence will be with us as you bless us with this rich words of yours. Thank you for answering prayer in the name of Jesus. Now we are coming back to our key text that we started with some time ago. In Genesis chapter 28 verse 12. Shall we read together if you are hearing me? And he dreamed a dream. And behold. And beheld a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. What did we end the other time? We ended in verse 41, where Esau became angry because the brother cheated on him. Now what happened? The mother once again came 
and then lured him to run away from the house. And then Jacob, when he left home, he was privileged to be a lover of God. So we have some point we want to look at this time. Jacob was a privileged character to whom God gave specific promises. What are these promises? One, he was a prophet. In fact, seven revelations are recorded given to him at different times. You can look at Genesis 28 verse 12, Genesis 31, Genesis 30. You can also look at Genesis 35 and Genesis 41 or 46 verse 1 to 4. Then the second promise is the heavenly vision came to him at a time when he felt his need of encouragement most. Now the second point. He lived in a constant fear of his brother. Because he knew he has wronged the brother, he was carrying guilt. If you remember what we studied some time ago, how he stole from his brother the birthright and then the blessings. So he was carrying guilt on him, and he was living in fear of his brother. Now what happens? Esau had vowed to kill Jacob. He felt that he was to be blamed for his difficulties with his brother. So the devil plugged him constantly. Number three. But God in mercy brought encouragement to him in the hour of need. God's stairway to heaven was the dream that Jacob had. You know, the scene in Jacob's dream reveals two things. One, God's interest in our destiny. Number two, God's love and compassion. You know, this God's love and compassion was manifested even in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve at that time sinned against God and deserved to die, but God showed them mercy. Bible students, as you are listening to me, wherever you are, there are so many things I want you to look at at this time. You know, the scene shows us so many lessons. You know, as Bible students, we need to learn a lot from this. Now, what happened? You see, these things happened in the life of many people as recorded in the scriptures. That was true in the experience of King David. It was true in the experience of Lot and his family. That was also true in the life of Saul when he became Paul. That was also true in the experience of the thief on the cross. That was also true in the cause of every sinner drawn by the cause of divine love as recorded in John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I know that this is also true in your life now. This is also true in your life wherever you are listening to me. And all that is happening to us in our life reveals the message of God in every step that we take in our lives. My dear listener, this hour you are hearing the voice of the Lord. Maybe you have sinned against God and you are running away from him or from the one you have erred against. Maybe at this time God is speaking to you. It is like the dream Jacob had. As you are listening to me, be it in the morning, afternoon, evening, God can reveal himself to you in many, many ways. I want you to know one thing, that his mercies endureth forever. So as you are thinking of how to ask God for forgiveness, I want to tell you that this is the time. This is the time for you to come to him in prayer and depend upon his message, and he will guide and bless you. This hour, I want to pray with you. I'm sure maybe you have seen the Lord in your dreams. You have heard about him in the scriptures, and you have decided to ask him to forgive you. Why don't you bow your heads wherever you are so we seek the Lord in prayer? My dear Father, I thank you for my listeners. I know you have promised us that by our own grace, our sins shall be forgiven when we ask. And so I pray that as they are hearing me now, you touch them wherever they are, clean them of their sins, and forgive them and bless them. The Lord bless you even as you continue to hear his words. And may you continue to do the right thing to his glory. When he comes, he will take the righteous ones home. Thank you for listening to me. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. 
You've been listening to the Moment of Truth broadcast on AWR, Adventist World Radio, Ghana. And uh, your pastor has been Pastor Chris Christy Lambert. God bless you and see you another time. You've been listening to Daylight Magazine coming to you from Adventist World Radio Ghana, Voice of Hope. If you need further information or study materials on issues we've discussed, please contact us on Adventist World Radio Ghana, Valley View University, P.O. Box AF595, Adenta, Accra, Ghana, West Africa. Or if you have access to the Internet, send us an email through awr at vvu.edu.gh or better still you can call us on 233 if our line is busy don't give up keep trying for we are expecting your calls emails and letters today's program was presented by Abigail in Cancer Mensa and Wilhelm Swanica. Thank you and God bless you for staying with us. So we come your way once again. Stay blessed. <laughs>